May 21st, that's a Saturday, the community has an opportunity to come together to network, eat well, and have fun for Children's Home Society's Evening of Taste charity event. Christina Curry and Sean Smith are here to share what the event is all about. So thank you, ladies, for joining us. Thank you for having us. So before we get into the event, um, we've had you guys from Children's Home Society on before, but give us a little background. Yeah, so our mission is to uh, uh, building bridges to success for children. We know life can be hard, so no child, no uh, parent should, um, should face tough times alone. So CHS meets children and families, um, and, uh, families at the right time with the right services, no matter where they are in life. And you guys have a bunch of different services. Can you give me just a few of those? Yeah, so one of ours is a community partnership school services, which Sean can kind of tell you a little bit more about. Um, we also have mental health, we also have adoption and fostering, where Children's Home Society, that's how it was found on, was adoption and fostering. But as we grew, so did our services. And it's really to look out for families and their kids as we move forward through the day. And then with the partnership schools, you guys have a bunch of those throughout the state. But which one are you at? I'm at Wilkinson Junior High Community Partnership School. And what are you guys doing over there? We have several services there, but first I want to just tell you a little bit about community, community partnership schools. It's a unique approach to education. Mm -hmm. um, our model focuses on removing the tough barriers for students and giving them services right there on campus. So at Wilkinson Junior High, we've had the pleasure of having a long-term collaborative partnership with um, Clay County District Schools, Baptist Health and Wolfson, Wolfson's Hospital, St. John's River State College, and of course, Children's Home Society of Florida. But at Wilkinson, we bring in those services specifically like the health care. Mm -hmm. We bring that right on campus, dental services, um, all, multi multiple kinds of services, tutoring, mentoring. We have the food pantry, clothing exchange, laundry <laughs> facilities, a lot. And none of that is cheap or free. I mean, that's it's right. free to some extent, but that's why we're having this event. So tell people what they can expect when they show up to the event. Yeah, so when guests arrive, they'll be able to taste different variety of food, drinks, and dessert. All while, you know, we'll also have different silent and live auctions to bid on. And the, also, the guests will also get, be able to hear um, an impact speaker from one of our community partnership schools as they tell their story and their success on how the community partnerships has um, changed, um, helped them with their future and um, moving forward in, in their education. So this is, event is open to everybody. You don't necessarily need to be a parent or a student in need or on that level. This is just an opportunity for people to come together and network, like we said, and have that conversation. So Children's Home Society Evening of Taste goes down Saturday, May 21st at Jacksonville Golf and Country Club. Tickets are still available. You got time. I know we're last minute, right. but go ahead and get them early. They like yeah. that kind of thing. And tickets are available on site <laughs> as well, too. So even till the last day, you are more than welcome to join us. And we hope you do because you'll help thousands of children in our community partnership schools. Awesome. And if you want to get those online, you can go to chffl.org slash EOT. That's a lot of letters. <laughs> or you can go to their Facebook page at chsnefl. Thank you, ladies, for joining us and what you're doing for the community. Thank you, Thank for, you having for having us. us. <laughs> All right, let's check in with Mark. 